During a recent officials' conference, Feikel Mbalula, the Secretary General of the African National Congress, ANC, found himself in a difficult situation after his attempts to confront Gauteng Premier Panyaza Lesufi and important KwaZulu natal heavyweights Bekim Tolo and Spaniso Duma failed. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell so as to get all our updates. Several others characterized the high stakes encounter, which was part of continuous attempts to ease tensions within the ANC leadership, as a humiliating experience from Balula. Balula has been at conflict with several provincial leaders more and more, especially Lesufi and Tolo, who are both quite powerful in their regions. Ahead of the governing party's national elective conference, Political experts see the conflicts as a component of a larger power struggle inside the party. The complicated factionalism that still characterizes the internal dynamics of the ANC is shown by Mbalula's inability to win electoral triumphs over these powerful figures. According to insider reports, Mbalula came into the meeting with a strong agenda, trying to mobilize support for measures against KwaZulu-Natal ANC leaders Ntolo and Duma as well as Lesufi. His suggestions, however, were rejected by other ANC leaders who seemed more interested in fostering harmony and reconciliation than widening rifts. Balula found himself in a difficult situation as a result of his inability to get sufficient support to further his goals. Despite his achievements in Gauteng's government, Panyaza Lesufi is still a powerful figure in the province, both within the ANC and in the public eye. His growing popularity is seen to pose a serious obstacle to any efforts to weaken his authority. Due to the consolidation of authority in their respective regions by KwaZulu-Natal ANC Provincial Secretary Bekim Tolo and Provincial Chairperson Spaniso Duma, Mbalula finds it difficult to gain momentum against them without running the danger of additional party divisions. Since no meaningful action was taken against any of the three leaders at the end of the conference, Mbalula was left alone and came under further scrutiny from his own people. Given that groups within the ANC are still fighting for control and power, his inability to change public opinion against Lesufi, Ntolo, and Duma has sparked concerns about his reputation and influence inside the organization. This episode emphasizes the continuous and escalating factional disputes that threaten to sabotage the ANC's unity at a pivotal juncture in South African politics as the party prepares for its next elective conference. Once more, Gauteng Premier Panyaza Lesufi and his group of anti-government of national unity, GNU, Supporters have decisively defeated ANC Secretary General Feikel Mbalula's efforts to punish Lesufi, marking a significant shift within the African National Congress, ANC. When Mbalula attempted to control Lesufi's growing criticism of President Cyril Ramaphosa's GNU efforts, the long-simmering internal tensions came to a head. According to reports, Mbalula, a fervent supporter of Ramaphosa, had urged for action against Lesufi whose increasing sway in the Gauteng province has been seen as a threat to the strategic direction of the ANC leadership. Ramaphosa's proposal for a government of national unity has been openly rejected by Lesufi and his supporters, who see it as an unwarranted compromise to opposition parties and a betrayal of the ANC's fundamental principles. According to ANC sources, a strong coalition of provincial leaders, many of whom share Lesufi's mistrust of the GNU, blocked Mbalula's effort to impose disciplinary action on Lesufi. In addition to severely dividing the party ahead of the general elections in 2024, these leaders contended that punishing Lesufi would backfire and further alienate important ANC members who are already dissatisfied with Ramaphosa's leadership. A top ANC source said that the attempt to muzzle Lesufi was a mistake. The Secretary General misjudged the level of party support for anti gnu sentiment. Ramaphosa's leadership is clearly facing significant internal problems, as seen by Lesufi's triumph. Lesufi's win not only solidified his standing as a key figure in the ANC, but also sent a message that the fight for the party's future is far from done. The growing divide between Lesufi's anti GNU group and Ramaphosa's GNU supporters is expected to influence politics as the general elections get near, perhaps changing the party's electoral stance. Colin Malachi, the president of the African National Congress Youth League, ANCYL, has publicly defended Premier Panyaza Lesufi, the chairwoman of the Gauteng ANC, who has come under fire for challenging Helen Zill, the federal chairperson of the Democratic Alliance. Malachi adamantly said that Lesufi was correct in his course of action because he thinks Zill crosses lines. 